Welcome to the channel. Today we're in the driveway. It's sunny. It's windy as can be. I'm blocking the wind with my body. So if you hear a bunch of it, I apologize, but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Just me trying to block the wind. It's not, it's not super effective. We're talking about the blazer today. Now I know in the last video, you got to see a sneak preview. Don't go there now. We'll wait till the end and you, then you can go back to our cars and coffee video um, of the new wheel and tire setup on the blazer. I originally was not going to do a full video on wheels and tires. I figured that's a little lame. Just, you know, it's quick, you know, there's the old one, there's the new one. But in fact, we are going to do a whole video on the wheels and tires because I got some older used wheels from a buddy and uh, we had to do a full refinishing process on them. We are not professionals. They didn't turn out great. Okay, so I'm just leading up with that. But they turned out looking pretty good from a distance, 5, 10 feet. 30, 50 feet away. They look pretty good. Okay. So I'm actually incredibly happy. We have so far done a little bit of a lift to the blazer. I don't know how, if you want to call it a lift or not, we pushed, took the stock torsion keys up the whole way. We put lift shackles in the rear and it sits really, really nice. I don't know how well it's going to come up on camera right here, but this is our biggest thing that I've done to the blazer yet. Uh, the other only thing I've done to this since I bought it is for four hundred dollars, about four hundred dollars, I've driven it for like three or four months now. Only thing I've done to it is lift shackles in the rear, and I didn't have to do that. But we are going to need to do one thing, and that is, and that is um, new A arms. I have them. I heard that they were rusty when I bought it. They sent new ones along. Um, when we went to do the tire change, you'll see here uh, we almost didn't take it to Cars and Coffee last week because there's a hole straight through the A arms upper control arms, A arms, whatever you want to say. Um, so we got to get those done soon. We did drive it to Cars and Coffee. Anyways, I don't know how dangerous it is, but I wouldn't recommend it if you have holes through any of your suspension components. Probably stop driving that car. So right now, let me take you back to when I first got the Blazer this summer. I'm going to show you a little bit of the previous look on the Blazer because I forgot to film beforehand um, of what the old wheels look like. So let's take a look at that. And as you can see, these are just the stock steel wheels. Tires on it are, are terribly dry rotted. They're actually too small. I think they were a stock size, but uh, they're a they're a 215, um, and we switched up to a 235 for our new setup. So a uh, little bit bigger tire now for the new ones, and I think it's going to look a lot lot nicer and be a lot safer because uh, they're actually held together by um, some rubber and metal and not completely dry rotted through. And so now that we have seen what the Blazer used to look like, we're going to go into the garage, look at the whole process of refinishing these wheels. It sucked. It took me a long, long time. It was very late in the evening, and I kind of gave up about halfway through and just started painting them, which it wasn't the right call. But uh, let's go to the garage from a couple days ago, and then we're going to come back out here and look at the new setup. So here are the wheels for the Blazer. Yes, they are a little rough. Just a little rough. The coating pretty much coming off all of them. They've been sitting in a barn for approximately 10, 15 years, and they were on a like farm vehicle before that. The actual metal is not in all that bad of shape. I guess it gets a little bit on the edge there, but not too, too bad. And uh, the coating is really kind of the killer there. Missing one center cap from that one, but I think from my other spare one that I had, we can seal the center cap out and put it in this one. Um, I don't know what exactly this is going to be as far as fixing them. Lance is here. He's in his Christmas sweater. Um, so enjoy that. This isn't even his ugly Christmas sweater. This is just his ni nice Christmas sweater. Nice sweater. Um, yeah, he just wears that all year round. But i got to do something to get this finish off. Probably going to need a wire wheel. I don't have one. So we might just end up uh, spraying these. i got a car show this weekend. And so that's why we're gonna rush through these. I'm gonna set up the tripod and just get through these guys and do whatever we gotta do. I'll go over, th over everything that we did once we're done. What's up, Chuck? Well, I'm just trying to see if you'd be open to accept that suggestion from me. Uh, of course, always. Okay. I'm very teachable. That I will run to my house and get a wire wheel. <laughs>
These are not perfect wheels, but that's okay. So we're going to spray them all with a slightly shiny um, silver. Actually, where's the... Hold on. I'm going to spray them with this. And, uh, and then probably clear over top of them. I got some clear around too. And that's about it. We just cleaned them up. And so we're going to spray them. I don't know. If it peels in six months, who cares? Go ahead. Yeah. Is it not going so well? Yeah, going. yeah just watch the runs, man. They're never running that way. More coats would be safer. I was trying to get in those holes too hard. I think it'll be all right on the next coat. So I have no idea kind of where we are on this video. It's actually like after midnight right now. Got to go to work in the morning, which is real sad. Uh, but this is our last wheel to wire wheel. We did go get a wire wheel. I'm sure you already saw that from the uh, time lapse sort of stuff there. Uh, this is our third wheel. I just did the first coat on it. It actually came out really nice. Um, Got two wheels back here, and I am not sure what happened with the second one. Um, it's just weird. Somebody probably knows who's more of a painter than I am. This one here, we cleared. Obviously, you can see the damage in the wheel. This is not a great wheel, but um, the rest of it came out actually looking okay. This one here, I just cleared, and you can see that. It just got all... I don't even know. That's like not even orange peel. That's like a whole other thing. It just beat it up on top of it. Um, I don't know what to say about it. it. Still looks better than, you know, the stuff peeling off of them, but this one just did not come out very nice. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. A couple other things I'm gonna have to fix here down the road is my fine artwork here didn't really come out all that nice. You can see that it's still got a lot of spots in it. It'll look fine from, you know, a couple feet away, but uh, this wheel I'm probably gonna switch out with this wheel here at some point because um, this wheel is actually really pretty nice shape obviously I'll have to paint it again and my apologies for the terrible lighting but these are something you haven't seen yet these are the tires that are going to go onto the blazer here I got Cooper let's see here 235 235 75 R14s are Cooper Discoverer RTs um, I don't really know anything about them, but I know most people I talk to have had Coopers, generally like them, and they were the cheapest name brand tire, walmart.com. They were like 70, 70 bucks a tire. I'd have to look back, 75 maybe, something like that, um, and uh, free shipping to your house. So not a bad deal that way, um, and they're going to look pretty good. I could have maybe gone bigger, but I really don't want them to rub. Um, these are about an inch and a half, two inches bigger than what's currently on the blazer there. So I have to load these up because I got to leave early to uh, get to the tire shop, drop these off and be able to pick them up at the end of the day, all mounted and balanced and everything. So got to load them in the Grand Prix. It should be kind of interesting with putting them and wheels in there. And even more terrible lighting, but that's how you get four tires in the back seat of a Grand Prix. I wouldn't do it if you like, you. oh no, I didn't try to shut the door first. Um, well, hold on. Okay. There we go. We jumped a little bit forward here and uh, we got all the wheels done. These ones here are still probably even a little bit wet. Um, I don't know what's up with the clear coating. I Maybe I don't know how to clear coat stuff. Actually, I can tell you for absolute certain that I can't because these came out terrible. But um, just a lot of like orange peel type of stuff. But I still think overall they look better than the steel wheels that are on it. And I can fix the coating you know, the painting stuff later. Um, it's going to suck probably once the tires are on, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with that down the road. This one here is definitely still what I just sprayed it. I think maybe I put the clear on too thick the first couple times, but this one even is still, it's still doing that. I don't know. I don't know. This one here got a little bit better as time went on, but from a couple feet away, they look pretty good. I am done for the night. It's two in the morning, I'm going to bed. Flash forward like two days, 
Uh, haven't had a chance yet to put the wheels that we just got mounted onto the blazer yet. Here's our old ones just for a little bit of more of a before and after. We got the Dunlop Radial Rotiver 215 75, I believe, 15s. And here is our new tires and wheels right here. And from this distance, they look pretty good. And when you get up closer, you realize they look terrible. Place it mounted them, lost my center cap. Claimed that it wasn't there originally, and then I went back and had to show them a video uh, of me unloading them at the shop. Now they're looking for it. Um, and they scratched up. Now, I'm not too, too angry because, I mean, we didn't have a professional paint finish here, but they scratched up every single one circle right there. But we are putting on these Cooper Discoverer AT23575. Where is that? 23575R15. So, we just got to jack this guy up. Zach's here. He's helping me. I don't know if you've seen him before or not, but uh, it's been a little while, if anything. Right. And uh, and he's going to help me take this thing to Cars and Coffee tomorrow. Zach's also going to be the complimentary camera holder. I've never taken the lugs or wheels or anything off of this yet. I bought it for $400 and decided it was just good to not do any maintenance and keep driving. And we're in a rush, so that's why I'm like out of breath. Been running around a little bit. I'm just sweaty because I was watching cops. <laughs> and I'm in good clothes. That's another thing. We're so, sort of good clothes. All right. I guess let's just put this guy on first, the crap one with the missing center cap. And let's see. I got new A-arms to put on here too, but these don't look terrible, terrible. Oh, actually they are. I need to put new A-arms on here, guys. Look. Look here, hold on a second, I might have to turn the light on. It is pretty much rusted through right there. Okay, um, <laughs> maybe I'm not gonna be taking this tomorrow. Um, shoot, might be okay. I don't know. So I got the tire on back here and uh, I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna show you at the end once it's all done. And, uh, oh, nope, you saw it a little bit, shoot. Um, let me move over here. All right. So we got the tire on. I think I think the A-arm's good enough to go to Cars and Coffee tomorrow. It's not that far, and it's pretty solid on the back side, and it's not, like, completely through. You can't poke your – it's just rusted. Uh, we're we're going to get to changing those pretty much immediately, though, after after tomorrow. But I still want to see these wheels on here. Uh, just fast forward till they're all done. So from the garage to the driveway, we're out here, and I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Let's take a look at the new wheels and tires. So we spent many hours getting these wheels ready to go and probably just failed all around because, well, they uh, – they didn't turn out that nice. They, uh, they look about the same as they did in the video from a minute ago. Um, this is a new center cap, the wheel place. When I bought my, or when I took them to get mounted and balanced, they lost one of the center caps. So um, they did volunteer to buy me a new one, but I actually am loving, you can see a little bit of mud because my driveway on the other side of the house is really muddy. But uh, I'm excited to try these out and uh, see how they do. They're Cooper Discoverer ATs. I'm sure I mentioned that before in the video already. Um, but I am so happy with how this blazer looks. I am not going to go with any crazy lifts or anything like that. I want to basically have stock driving dynamics um, and uh, and just nothing crazy because I, I am driving this. Like I drive it pretty regularly. So I'm looking for something that's pretty close to stock. Nothing crazy like the lifted out blazers or really crazy lower that's that's not really my thing so let me know what you guys think of the new look for the blazer down below i know it's not crazy like i love these stock wheels like that is the wheel that i want for this i do need to get rear uh, spacers for the rear um because they sit in a little bit further actually let me show you it's not quite as easy to see here and maybe it's not as drastic i guess it's definitely not um on these as it is on the chevy trucks but at least it appears as though the rear tires sit in further which is a famous thing on the chevy trucks if you want your wheels to sit you know straight across like on the side level um you have to get spacers because the rears always sit in further and uh it just doesn't they look a little see they just look a little, a little too far in so we're going to space those out probably just a one inch maybe two i don't know something like that to get them just out just a little bit more but otherwise i am super happy with how it came out next up for the blazer is just a bunch of maintenance we need to do an oil change we need to do i don't know if we'll do tranny fluid just flush or not honestly probably not right now it shifts fine um and then we got to do a new wiper motor pulse board setup um wipers don't work that's been a 
big problem actually a couple different times now since when I got caught in rainstorms. But uh, after that, we're going to do those A-arms, brakes. I don't know. Just we're going to go over it, get it aligned, everything. I don't know exactly when that video is going to come out, but we're going to do it and get this thing in tip top, literally like running 100% shape. Um, and then we're going to work on the body because we got a we got a lot of rust. I'm sure. I'm sure you saw it. It's it's everywhere. I'm hanging out up here in the front to avoid the wind and it's it's freezing outside and probably the audio is terrible through this. I apologize, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like the look of the blazer. We're going to change the color of the blazer too. Like that's that's going to have to happen. I hate the brown. So lots of lots of plans. Not a lot of money, not a lot of time, but lots of plans. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and share. Have a great day, guys.